Diesel, ready to go to the shop, buddy? What's going on? Hey, ready? ready to go to the shop? Ooh. Where are we going? We're going to the shop. Do some upgrades. Go ahead. Uh, no. Oh, that one's got a rip. Red's good. Eh. Blue's pretty cool. Oh, Cass. Oh. Oh, that's the speed hole one. Mm, no. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Ah, there it is. Nice. Welcome to the shop, folks. Got shop dog, safety plaid, and a bunch of mods to do. Pretty excited about that. So we're going to be doing some brand new MSA EFX tire sets. We got all new Alka suspension to get into, high lifter stretch trailing arms. We're gonna get it all onto this and get a trail ready. I have a ride tomorrow. So we have a lot to do to get this all done. So let's get to it. So we have a lot going on. We have these new trail tires. Don't worry, the assassinators aren't going anywhere. These are my mud tires. I might switch these up next season, but either way, I'm always gonna have two sets. So I have this Can-Am Beadlock Super ATV Assassinator set up for the mud. And I just picked up the EFX Moto Claw. This is a 30 by 10 R14, uh, eight ply, super heavy duty tire. It's meant for a UTV in my opinion, but Slapping it on the Outlander and uh, an MSA wheel to put it uh, on the bike, of course. So pretty excited about these guys. I thought I'd do something a little different. I kind of like the, the silver brushed thing going on. I know I have a thing with black and red. Um, just wanted to try something else, you know, trail set. So one of the things that I've had difficulties with is this thing rides like a horse wagon. It's it's great in the mud. It's fantastic in the mud, actually. But I really wanted to not be three inches shorter and have back problems after a trail ride. So I contacted Dirty Life and oh, got a set of these bad boys too. So we have some Elkas. These are all custom three stage or stage three units uh, straight from them. You tell them your weight, how you ride, what machine you have, every all these specific things. And they make these from scratch in the shop for you. So really excited about that. So one of the things I'm also doing is a set of high lifter trailing arms in here, okay? And what these do is this trailing arm is gonna be stretched out two inches. So I have more room in the wheel well, right? And that's actually for more next spring when I put bigger tires. I'm thinking about doing 31s, 32s, something like that. That's what I meant by trading the assassinators for something else, like a eight wide, eight and a half wide, maybe a nine wide, something 32. So I'll take your suggestions down below in the comments section, but we're gonna have the stretched arms, Elka's new EFX MSA set of tires for the trail. Uh, I've also got some brakes and bushings and stuff. Uh, just because I did the front end from my front end teardown when I did the torque locker. And now I'm back here, I knew I would be, so all of that's getting changed. So everything's prepped. So even the trailing arms, I already had bearings pressed into and everything. Uh, I figured if, you know, obviously I'm not gonna rip these bearings out and put them in there. They're cheap, put those in, good to go. Do some brakes, do some bushings, get those tires on. There's a lot going on. Anyway, you can tell I'm pretty flustered, but I have to have this done so that I can ride tomorrow. I have a ride called, called Ride for Dad. And uh, it's a great fundraiser ride. And I just didn't want to be on Assassineers for a trail ride. So really want to get this done, pretty pumped. So that means I got to get tearing down. Uh, I've done the rear end before. So just gonna get rid of this and gut it all. And if there's anything to let you know about, I will, of course. 
just plugging away at it, but something I didn't have to do last time I took these off is uh, one of the brake lines has a rivet you'll have to drill off, and when you put the new ones on, you'll have to uh, use some zip ties or creativity. I'll see if I can do it better than zip ties, but yeah, I get the brake line off, brake off. There's only one on these, so that comes off. A couple nuts and bolts, suspension sway bar, and then this one big bolt here is actually holding on to uh, the two trailing arms. So once we pound that out, pretty much everything's just going to fall apart and then uh, assembly happens. So it's pretty simple that way. So everything's all at the same time. So I'm going to put some garage product bushings in here. See if I can get at these ones right now. The Elkas will go here, obviously, the high lifters, and we'll be good to go. And then we can slap our trail tires on. So we have everything torn out of here now and I figured while I was in there I was going to do the uh, garage product bushings. You'll notice the sway bar bushings completely missing. All it is is two bolts and when you pull those out you have to do both sides and then you can pull the sway, sway bar out and the coupler that's in there, this guy, which is sitting like this in there, it just slides out and then the old bushing splits and you can take it off the bar. So then we're going to put the new garage product bushing in. I can tell it's much more durable, harder plastics. I don't know what is going on with it, but I know it's going to be a tighter tolerance. And this will get rid of that clunk. So if you've ever gone off a little ledge and got a little airborne, you'll notice the rear end just clunks like a bastard. So this guy is what's going to fix that. And once we get all this sorted out, um, we start putting in the actual trailing arms and I have another garage product bushing that goes into it and the other end of the sway bar here and the, that's these little guys back here which I've already done to the front end we're just doing to the rear end my buddy's doing the rear brake on the other side and we basically carry on and uh, yeah so the new ones are in and they are significantly tighter um, insulation wasn't too difficult you have to kind of work around it and jig it and work things back and forth just be real careful take your time of course just like anything else um, so the next thing is we're prepping the high lifter trailing arms and I didn't realize that I needed these seals here so that these cups can sit in it and uh, we're gonna move these to the other ones. They're not a big deal. They don't actually seal a whole lot. I think they just stop like more so water from being in there, but the bearings themselves are sealed bearings, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, so that's all gonna get swapped over. We're gonna install these. And while my buddy's doing that, we're gonna put uh, garage product bushings into here also. And the, the trailing arms themselves are going to have them. And then we put the links back over and the rear end will be significantly tighter. Um, so that's actually a great upgrade while doing the Elka shocks. It's going to be awesome. So, got the new garage product bushings in here also. We transferred over the seals that are actually in really good shape from the old trailing arms. So the water steels are back in there and then these fit right in it. This is where everything kind of rotates on. Uh, when we reinstall this. We've got the garage product bushings in there now, so everything's nice and tight, clearances are good. Really happy with the way that turned out, so now it's just a matter of slamming these uh, trailing arms in. It's kind of nice to have a partner to make sure you get the rods in right and the little cups don't fall out and that. So once we have that on, it's game time. Elka suspension and the whole bit is all going to be on in no time. There she is. A little bit of a slight alignment struggle on some of this. Nothing too major, nothing to be concerned about, but get ready to uh, jiggity jank some things to get it all to go together. But uh, I'm actually really pumped about this. It wasn't, just, even though these are stretched, it wasn't any harder than the stock ones or anything. And uh, everything's nice and uh, I just, I love it. So I can't wait to put the Elkas in and just give this thing a trail rip. Because I think it's going to be uh, a whole new monster because of all this work. I'm really excited about it. There's the rear end. Brand new bushings, trailing arm, Elkas, tires. Uh, I had two inch spacers on here because of my other rims. And we first put the spacer and rim on and this tire was like out here. It was a bit too much. So I got rid of the spacers, which I'm really, really happy about. And these tires are on and they just freaking look amazing. Check that out. So these are also the same size as the Assassinators. 
They just look beefier, of course, because these are 26s with four inches of lug. These are actual 30s. They measured 30 and a half, and uh, there's our Elkas. So we're gonna squat this side down, jack up the front. I gotta tighten some stuff up. I gotta do brake pads, put the Elkas on, and we're done. Rear end, good to go. We're at the front now. And I gotta remove all of this to get out the brake pads. That'll be two seconds. And then rip this shock out, good to go. And I gotta put some Loctite on these heim joints that I put in last time. Uh, they just keep backing off a little bit. So put a little bit of Loctite, make sure they're secured and good to go forever and ever. And ready to rock. So we got her done. I know uh, I didn't include the front end, but honestly like doing some brake pads and a couple bolts, it's super easy, simple work. But uh, the stage threes are good to go. Everything's just 15 mil bolts. So it took like two seconds. We got that all done. <clears throat> I had to tighten up some steering stuff from the last time I dug into this thing. It just vibrates off. So I put some Loctite on there and just tighten it all down. But the, uh, the tires are looking good. This thing's like 100 inches long now, but uh, I like it. The, the trail mode is pretty exciting stuff. I love how beefy it is, but uh, like I was saying, the, we had a two inch spacer we had on and I just assumed it had to go on for these tires too, but I got these at a zero offset, so they're actually farther out already to make up for my spacer. So when I go to these, I don't need the spacer anymore. So now everything's good to go. But when I had the spacer, it was like way out there. It was ridiculous. So I got that off. Really excited about these Elkas. I like the dual rate spring. So I think the ride's gonna be a lot more comfortable, but I'll know after a couple rides and I'll review it after that. But uh, I think at this point, I have some other projects I gotta get to and uh, I'll do some beauty shots and wrap up the video.